Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Lauren Holly. I've been following her career since it started. I knew right away that she was going to be a star. There simply is no not liking her. She's a knockout, for one thing, and plays a lot of likable characters. Lauren played Jazz, the nerdy but somehow smoking hot secretary of the detective hero in The Adventures of Ford Fairlane. She also played the grown-up Betty in an Archie TV movie, an extremely sweet and nice character. You certainly won't forget her as Bruce Lee's wife, Linda, in the biopic Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. She was also great in Dumb and Dumber, Down Periscope, and Turbulence, to name only a few credits. She was also, briefly, Mrs. Jim Carrey, her co-star in Dumb and Dumber. Lauren Holly is generally thought of more as a 1990s actress, but actually she had been around for quite a while before that. The very first thing she did was two episodes of Hill Street Blues in 1984. And then after that she got a regular role on the soap opera of All My Children from 1986 to 89. But still, that's not what really broke her out into the mainstream in a big way. She had done a lot of movies and TV shows that maybe should have, but for one reason or another they just didn't take. The Archie TV movie in 1990 where they were all growing up and like in their 30s and she played Betty uh, which was a very very nice and sweet character I mean you liked her playing that I actually liked that TV movie at the time I know that it bombed somebody thought it was a sacrilege and oh it was terrible they never should have attempted it and then they go ahead and make that Riverdale series so <laughs> goes to show you what the public really likes and goes for and then she did uh, The Adventures of Ford Fairlane where she played the female lead opposite of Andrew Dice Clay and that was a good performance that was a good movie it had a great cast to it the movie there was a bit of a stigma at, at about it at the time it was getting pulled out of theaters just due to Andrew Dice Clay's controversial stand-up act which had nothing to do with the movie but it did ruin the movie's success I recommend you watch that movie, even if you don't like Andrew Dice Clay's stand-up, because it's not that. The humor is not that crude. It, the persona is the same. He has that same basic stage persona that he uses for the character, because that's, of course, what people were expecting to see at the time. But it's PG-13. It's not anything that kind of edgy. It never was. It had a great cast, Priscilla Presley that you see here, Wayne Newton that you saw in the last pictures, uh, Morris Day from the time, so many great people. I love this series of pictures here with her in this black dress. It's just a fantastic look. I don't know who made the dress or anything like that. All I know is that she wears it well. <laughs> and she looks good in these pictures. And that's really the interesting thing about her is because she's definitely sexy. She's got a sexy look. She can pose for pictures like this. However, uh, interacting performances, it's so much beyond that. You know, she's not just posing and everything like a Baywatch actress. She's really got talent. And she does a lot of different uh, film and TV projects where she doesn't play up the sexiness at all. But her real big breakout would have been uh, in the TV series Picket Fences in 1992 where she played the female lead in that series opposite of Tom Skerritt. I'll be honest with you, I didn't really care for the Picket Fences TV show that much. I thought it was kind of odd. It reminded me a lot of Twin Peaks for some reason. It says, but that's what really broke her out, and then she ended up getting into movies more after that. Of course, when she did the film Dumb and Dumber, that did not hurt <laughs> with Jim Carrey. But she had already been having success before that. I really liked her in um, the movie Dragon, the Bruce Lee story from 1993. And in that, she played Linda, who was Bruce Lee's wife. She gave a really great performance in that one. 
I know a lot of people who have told me that they said that's when they first got their crush on Lauren Holly was from Dragon the Bruce Lee story. Not a bad place to get a first crush on her. This peacock dress is really interesting. I like this design. Of that dress with little peacock emblems. And of course, this is another series of pictures from the Picket Fences era. She's had a lot of different hairstyles. Usually red, but sometimes you see her as blonde in the earlier days. I think she stays with red for the most part. She had so many good pictures that... You know, I had to be selective and just pick what I thought were the best ones to kind of show off here. And the thing about her is that, you know, when I do these Babe of the Days, the idea is, is uh, to make them, you know, look their very best. You know, that's not a sexist thing or anything else. I do show pictures of actresses. If they're older, you know, it says, but they got to look good in them. Like, for instance, there's one lady um, that I plan to be doing, you know, a babe of the day for, and she's going to have an eye patch, you know, and some of the, you know, so, and I says, well, you know, I says, well, I'm not going to take the pictures where she's wearing an eye patch, you know, it says, that's kind of an indignity. Or there's another one where uh, a lady singer, she got heavier in her later years because she was going through cancer treatments at the time. I says, well, I'm not going to show pictures like that. The point of all this being is that, you know, it, says it doesn't really matter what age they are just so they still look good in the pictures. You know, if it's pictures that they can be proud of personally, that's what I'll show here. So as you'll notice in these pictures, sometimes, you know, I have her in her 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. So there's not a thing with ageism in the Babe of the Day videos. And she looks great going all through you know, all them years. She knows how to wear a t-shirt. <laughs> That's for sure. She can wear just about, she can wear the fanciest outfit or she could dress down like this and she could still look really good. But I'm happy for her that she, I, I knew that when I first saw her in the early days, before Picket Fences and everything, I, says, I just knew that she was going to make it. And I'm glad that she did. And that she has continued to make it for so long. That's an interesting dress, that little jungle print dress. I like that. Thank you very much for watching this tribute video to Lauren Holly. I hope that you've enjoyed her too over the years. If this is the first time that you've ever come across her or seen her, check out her stuff. She has quite a resume of material. Quite a lot of interesting movies that appeal to everybody. Not just guy movies, but movies that you know women will like too. Thank you very much and have a great day.